Hello, teacher Jackie here to share with you a few of my ideas about mom, the moms that pop into the video for two key reasons, okay? Number one, the mom that sits with her student and wants to talk the slides, read the slides, answer the questions or ask the questions. They wanna run the show. Some of them are really on the spectrum of everything and some are like just lightly there. So whichever, wherever your mom is, um, they're annoying. <laughs> um, but I will tell you this, I had a friend that is connected closer to the Chinese culture and said that this was about two months ago. They told me teachers are highly respected um, in China. And so once I learned that, I learned I could do some things that I were do what I were doing. I was doing anyway I did in lots of my classes I've said it in lots of other videos too like you need to tell that parent hi thank you so much for being in class and supporting your student but you need to like leave but you say it a different way um I've had to do it even more lately and so I'm coming across this the mom that you know she's reading the slide you know um and I'm not reading it fast enough or the student's not answering fast enough so let's just pretend the slide says like the say it says apple, okay? So we learn apple, we learn how to say apple, we circle it and the kid says, oh, apple, you know, that's, that looks like an apple, the word is apple, you know, all that stuff. So we get to the next slide and now we're doing a sentence, um, I eat the apple. And so the student goes, I eat, and then they kind of pause and the mom's like, apple. And then I kind of go, okay, let me see if mom will do that again. Then we go to the next slide, you know, I see two apples. Okay, the student goes, I see, and then the mom jumps in and says two apples or something. And then the student repeats mom. So then I go, because oh, you don't see them sometimes. Sometimes you'll see their shoulder, you'll see them, or you won't see them at all. You'll hear them. And I'll go, um, oops, sorry, my camera's not focusing, but I'll go like, mom, is, is mom there? Is your mom there? And then, then they are busted at that point. And so they'll go like, uh, and they'll turn the camera, you know, oh, hi, you know, hi, hi, mom. Oh, you know, you, your English is good. Thank you. Or, you know, their English may not be good, but basically I say, this and I've said it before and I'm going to keep saying it again but if you've not seen my previous videos I I'm bold you know because hopefully as, as my friend told me they respect teachers and, and I do it as respectful as I can hi mom thank you so much for being in um you know Timmy's class and your support but during class your student will interact with me the teacher and please don't read the slides, okay? And I actually, the one recently, I, I literally said, because her English was really good. I said, you pay me to do the class. So can I do the class? And she was like, oh, you know, uh, she thought she was helping her student. I really think genuinely she thought she was helping her student. Some parents don't, they just want to run the show. You have to gauge that, you have to figure that out. But my point of this whole thing is not just to be, you know, powerful and bossy. It is the fact that I have a student now who's a regular after I told the mom to kind of like, hi, thank you. But and I told her, I said, you can support your student between classes. Her English again was good. And I would, you know, be like, you know, so after class, you guys can practice the word apple you know, the different colors and everything. And she's like, oh, okay, thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry. And she'll tuck out. She'll either stay there or she'll walk away. And, and I'm not, I don't mind if they stay there. They just need to not say anything. And so I think there's a really good respectful way to do that. And it's important that you, um, um, sorry. I was reading this and I thought it said my microphone was off. I sure hope the microphone is on. <laughs> so does that make sense? Recap, here we go. Mom is talking. She says one word, 
or she says the whole sentence or she talks. You kind of give them a chance to see if it's just that one slide. You do another slide, they do it again. Maybe you wait till the third time, they do it again. Stop the class. Hi, is mom there? You know, is mom there? You know, get my magnifying glass out. Is mom there? Well, big eyeball. <laughs> and then she may peek in or may not. Most of them do. I've had a dad do it too. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you so much for supporting your student for class. It's very helpful. Um, during class, I will read the slides and your student needs to answer or read. And what's hard, I've done this before, what's hard is we have to wait like five seconds and wait for your, because your, your student needs to think about the question or think about the answer. If you just read to the student, if you tell the student the answer, if you, you know, if I did, I don't say all those things. I just pick one. If you say the answer, then they're not reading. Or if you say the answer, they're not thinking about what it is. And when you're not there, they, you know, so you have to go with all of that, but some of them you do. <laughs> So hopefully that takes care of mom number one. Mom number two is the mom that takes the class. Now I had done this before. The mom says, I'll take the class. My daughter has like a music recital. She We, miss, we messed up the schedule. So I was like, uh, okay, we'll do this. So we did the class. I didn't understand the benefit to that. And even the mom goes, well, I want to practice my English. So we did it. Well, then another class, my student was sick. He was like there, he was like, like sleeping and she was trying to wake him up. And I was like, it's okay, it's okay. So I actually messaged the fireman and said, my student is really sick. And the mom even said they were at the hospital that day. And I said, what do I do? And she goes, let me call. So the fireman called the mom and the mom, then they talked. The fireman typed to me that the mom would take the class and show the replay later to the student. And I was like, oh, wow. But the mom had started to get really angry or agitated and I was not a fan. So I said, I said that mom's kind of angry, I'm not sure. She they said, do you wanna do that? And I was like, not really. <laughs> but then the mom came back to me and got a little nicer. And I said, sure, I'll do it. And so we did, we took the class. Um, I extended with her. I know exactly what I would have done with him. And actually, by slide 20 of 25, the student came to, was awake and wanted to participate and the mom left and we finished with the student. But I will say then that helped me understand that some of the moms take the class for the students to replay. But I will say it's not always the case. I was two days ago, I had a class and some teacher to teacher feedback had said, the mom was taking the class for the student. Well, when I, logged in and saw the mom. I was like, hi, mom. And she told me her name and we're talking. And I said, is this for your student? And she said, no, I'm taking this class because it is the adult class. And as you know now, or if you don't know, the adult classes are being taken by the students. And I think that's the loophole for us to teach the students again. But now we're teaching a lot of the students again. I think everything's lifted and fine and dandy if you're wanting to get back to VIP kid teaching. So with all that being said, mom number one, you have to tell them to step aside that you, you know, you love them, you like them, you, you, you respect them, but they've got to let you teach the class. Their student is not going to remember uh, practice or understand English if they are telling them the answers. Number two, mom that takes the class for the student for a replay never realized that that was a thing or the mom's taking the class because the mom's taking the class and they just share the account with the student. All right, we love our moms. Talk to you later. <laughs>